conversations. Think about that word for a moment. Conversation is something we do literally every day from the time we're born to the time we pass away and perhaps even into eternity. Conversations are something that we just do naturally and sometimes they disappear in an instant. Does anybody have children? Can I get an amen on that? <laughs> and sometimes they can stick around for a lifetime. The ones that stick around for a lifetime sometimes leave deep scars or like a flower, they can really allow a life to bloom. I heard a story the other day that was a little surprising. A man that I have high respect for is in his early 70s. And he mentioned that he struggled with self-esteem. I'm sure we've all struggled with self-esteem at some point, but I was surprised because this man runs an organization that has about 500 members and he's the head honcho. 500 member organization, you gotta be doing something right. You have to know what you're doing. And in fact, he's a pastor, so a lot of people come to him with their own life challenges. I said, how could you struggle with self-esteem? People come to you to deal with their self-esteem. In fact, they come to you, you're their guidance counselor, you're their faith advisor. You help them in their personal challenges. And he said, well, I've kind of pinpointed to where it stems from, therefore I'm able to manage it, but it's still a challenge at times. I said, what do you mean you pinpointed it? He said, well, when I was a young teenager, I got into a fist fight at school. I came home from school, my mom saw I was all bloody. She said, what happened? I told her what happened, who I got into a fight with, and she looked at me and said, you're not good enough to hang out with those kids. What are you doing with them? Go clean yourself up. Can you imagine your parents saying that to you? That stuck with him for let's say it's close to 60 years now. That conversation was internalized and he's continued to have it for 60 years. That's a struggle. Big scar. I heard another story about a young boy in elementary school. The teacher gave an assignment. She said, write down what you wanna be when you grow up. Great assignment. Little kids' minds dreaming. This child wrote, I want to be on TV. Big goal. The teacher came around to collect the assignment. As she looked at the boy's paper, she saw what was written. She laughed and said, bring that home to your parents. Tomorrow, I want you to come back with something more realistic. Can you imagine? The boy went home, showed his parents. Mom agreed with the teacher. Her son had a stuttering problem. How could he be on TV? Dad had a little different perspective. After the parents got into an accelerated discussion, they sent the boy to his room, which he knew meant, I'm gonna get a beating soon. After a few minutes, the father went to the boy's room and said, son, tell me what happened. The boy said, dad, she told us to write down what we wanna be when we grow up. I thought I did it right. He said, what'd you write? I want to be on TV. He said, what do you think your teacher wanted you to write? He said, I don't know what everyone else was writing. Maybe a pro athlete or a teacher. Dad said, teacher, that's probably a good one. She can't get mad at that. <laughs> he said, son, here's what I want you to do. I want you to write down what you think she wanted you to write. And tomorrow you're gonna to bring that paper to school and that's gonna be her paper. And the one where you wrote down you wanna be on TV, you're gonna place that on your desk. And every single morning when you wake up, you're gonna read that piece of paper. And every single night when you go to sleep, you're gonna read that piece of paper. See, that paper is your paper. That boy used to go by the name of Stevie. That boy, carried that internal conversation that he had with his dad all the way through his adulthood. You might have even heard of him. Today he goes by the name Steve Harvey. Ever heard of him? Yeah. Where'd you see him? <laughs> on TV. And any day of the week that you turn on your television, you could actually find Steve Harvey. 
And when Steve Harvey made it to his stardom on TV, you know what he did for his teacher? He bought her a television and sent it to her every single Christmas until she passed away so that he could, so that she could see him on TV. Well played, Steve Harvey. Conversations are something we're gonna have every day for the rest of our life, no matter who you are or what you do. All of us have the power to choose which conversations we're gonna listen to. We've all had negative conversations. I can't do this. I can't ask for that raise. I can't speak to that person. We've all had positive conversations. I can do that. I can speak to that person. Hey, I can win that contest. <laughs> Today, I'd like to encourage you. Think about the internal conversations that you are having perpetually with yourselves. Though we're having conversations with other people, the ones we have with ourselves are the most important, and they make the biggest difference. So think about the conversations you're having with yourself, and choose wisely the ones you pay attention to. Thank you.